Bolger Nation, welcome to Casa Del Cook. We are in my apartment right now. I've only been in here like a month, don't judge. The walls are a little bit bare. But we do have the most important thing. Not the most important thing. The reason I have this before, before any of you guys see it in a video, before I start this cooking segment that we're gonna do, the reason I have this, a little bit of motivation. Um, obviously I don't walk around like that and when I'm in the kitchen, I wanna eat, I wanna overeat. Um, you know, it's kind of a nice thing to have. A friend made it for me, it's kind of a nice thing to have like, what the hell are you eating that for? That's not what a soldier eats. Kind of, uh, kind of le let me know. That's a very mean face I'm making right there. So it helps me out. Don't judge. Um, I might judge if I was you guys, but um, that's all right. But today we're gonna roll up our sleeves. We're gonna go to work. The G-Shock's gotta come off because we're getting down and dirty. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about basics of cooking, a little bit more about nutrition. It's really easy. The fun part's the gym. That's when we get to go in there and you get to really, really just have at it. It's all about being intense, which brings me, which brings up a good point. The gym is fun. You have to be having a good time. So many messages out there, people being like, hey Steve, you know, uh, I, I'm worried about this if, if I don't have my protein shake exactly at this time right after, or I'm worried about overtraining. It's a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of crap, the fact that you think little tiny details are more important than the crazy intensity of just smashing the weights. Turn on the Metallica, turn on uh, the wrap, and just lift, lift your hearts out. Have fun with it. Do it because you love it. And it's that deep down love of those weights that will make everything else appear, which will make, you know, things like cooking, you know, this, this, is, this is where a lot of the results are gonna come from, but this is the easy part. You know, you can eat tuna out of a can every day if you needed to. You could eat, um, you know, things that are easy food, but to make it a little bit easier, to make it so, you know, you're, you're prepared for the week to have those meals on you, I'm gonna show you kind of what I do. Um, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot. It's basically, if you're, in, if you're in college, that's about my level of cooking. You know, I, I don't, I'm not a uh, culinary art school or a culinary student by any means. I do use a couple little tricks and trades that I've picked up along here and there, things that go a long way. I think uh, a large part is the condiments we use, people. If you look at things like ketchup and ranch, those types of things, that's where so many excess calories come from. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you um, how to eat and you don't have to be boring. I know a lot of people don't like salt. Salt's okay, people. If you're not in the last week of contest prep, a little bit of sodium. If you don't have a high blood pressure, if you don't have high blood pressure, salt's just fine. Um, so this is just Foster Farms chicken, boneless, skinless. It's trimmed. Um, I've been marinating it in Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I don't know if I can say that. Um, it's marinade for chicken. A little pickle juice. Um, a little bit of mustard. Basically anything you kind of like. You know, you want to. Uh, to be slightly acidic to help kind of sink in and break it down. That's been in my fridge overnight. Um, I'm, I'm gonna cook up the chicken. Veggies. Veggies will be a dieters or just being healthy. Veggies and fruits are gonna be huge. Uh, more so veggies, they're just, I mean, for, for a whole cup of this, 85 grams, which is a decent amount, um, you have four carbohydrates. Um, so it's, it's nothing. It's just gonna fill you up, it has fiber in it. Dieter's best friend there. Um, but I have my food scale because I am getting on track with some things um, as far as getting back on that diet. Kind of kind of left you guys hanging the last couple weeks. I'm sorry. This morning, to update you guys, I'm 214. I'm down a little bit. I found out I was gonna be doing a ton of traveling. I'm gonna be heading to uh, Australia and I'm also gonna be headed to Ireland and London for body power. So with all this traveling, I decided to push my show back. I don't know which one exactly I'm gonna do. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing the Olympia, but because of that, I kinda of wanted to slow down the contest prep. I don't wanna um, over, over um, kill myself with dieting. Just kind of enjoying things still as far as I'm eating well, I'm training hard, I'm not restricting things too much, but I am, starting, I am counting calories, still just kind of get a rough estimate. That way when I do need to cut down, I know exactly where I'm at still. So I'm really sorry. We'll start updating a little bit more pictures and everything. I thought I was gonna do a show in May, May or June, but it turns out, you know, with all the traveling, I'm gonna push it back a little bit. But um, anyhow, you know, what I use to cook with, it's just a cooking spray. 
This is just a non-cook. You know, you can do the you can do the olive oil cooking sprays. Um, this one has a lot of good um, omegas, omega threes and six. But I kind of want to show you how I break down my carbs, my fats. Most of the time in the morning when I wake up, I have a shake with some oatmeal, and that's meal one. If I'm if it's a Saturday. If it's a Saturday and I'm feeling like getting crazy and I want to have a little bit more, I'm going to do some eggs, mostly egg whites with a couple eggs in there. But I keep um, I keep my breakfast, I don't eat it right when I get up. You know, most people are like, oh, you need that, your, your body's catabolic. I like to also just kind of let my natural, just my body let me know what, what I need and what I want. I don't always feel like having a, a meal right when I get up. And that's why I like the, the shake. I like the oatmeal. Uh, before that, usually I'll get some, right when I wake up, I will get a little bit of BCAs and glutamine, um, take my, my L-carnitine as well. And then maybe I'll go for a walk, um, I'll read. I always like to start off my day reading something, and then 50 push-ups. It's just something I do. You're not going to overtrain chest if you do 50 push-ups every day. 50 push-ups and 50 crunches. It's just my kind of way of waking up, getting started off on the right foot. Um, and if you can, try to wake up at the same time every day. Get into a routine. It's not easy to do. But, and then I have my first meal, which like I said, egg whites or protein, um, egg whites or protein powder with a, one or two whole eggs. And then I just do, um, I do quick cooking oats. That's fine, like if you don't, if you don't like oats or if you need to switch up, you could do uh, cream, of, cream of oat brand, oat brand or cream of wheat. Um, also protein pancakes. These are the same ingredients I can use and just switch out uh, an ingredient here or there or add in some flavoring things like almond uh, almond extract this is vanilla extract but you also have almond extract to your protein pancakes and we'll do some episodes um, coming up that's more recipe related today is just gonna be pretty much basic stuff what I what I do so breakfast real basic um, really basic things these I want to bring up I love these they're they're steaming bags so they are for a lack of a better word, a lazy guy's best friend. And to be honest, I don't like spending a ton of time cooking. You're in the gym, you have other things to do, and if you're cooking every day, it gets old fast. And if you don't like it, you're not gonna do it. So things like steaming bags, I steam my sweet potatoes, you'll see me steam a sweet potato in. I also steam my veggies. Steaming, you know, it's, with the veggies, it's, it's not a bad way to, you're not gonna lose a whole lot of nutrient facts, or nutrients in there. But anyhow, let's get started. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees. I'm gonna get my cooking spray here. You know, not enough to really do any do any damage. Obviously, it's it's oil on there, but it's so minimal and it's gonna cook. And then my marinated chicken, chicken. And guys, if you're cooking chicken, make sure you cook it all the way. Make sure anything you touch, you clean with a good surface. So I'm just kinda gonna make sure they're all well coated. Now, like I said, there's already some seasoning on there. There's a little bit of salt. There's a little bit of um, this seasoning here, which I just absolutely love. A little Cajun Blast Creole seasoning. Give it a little bit of kick. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more there. If you guys don't know, spices, things that are spicy, peppers, Anything that, that has a kick is gonna help you, help your metabolism. It's gonna raise that thermogenic properties, or if it has thermogenic properties, it's gonna raise your uh, body's core temperature, and it's just gonna be a nice little added thermogenic factor if you're dieting. But we're gonna throw that in. This is gonna feed me. I eat a chicken breast a day. So oven's preheated already to 400 degrees. Um, but I eat a chicken breast a day, seven ounces, usually pre-workout. Uh, I don't like to get too crazy in the off season, but when I'm, when I'm you know, dialing everything in, it's, it's seven ounces. This year, I love it. This is my elk. It's all natural, hormone free, super low in, in um, you know, things like trans fats, but it's, these are elk burgers. I also do ground, um, ground elk, but I eat two of these patties also once a day right now. Um, I know you guys might be saying it's a lot of red meat, Steve. Red meat every day, but because it's 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 low in the saturated and trans fats, I think for one of these patties, it's 23 grams of protein, and I think it's only four grams of fat. So super lean. And what I do with these, I just throw them on the George Foreman, or I just cook them in a pan, kind of get these going. Show you. 
just real simple. And I like the George Foreman, but it is, it can be kind of a pain. It's a pain in the butt to clean. I know a lot of you guys out there were letting me know there's something out there that's even better. I forgot the name of it. But, so while that's preheating, and I'll just do this all at once. I'll throw in some tunes and just kind of get it all, um, all done. Usually about four days worth, uh, worth of food. If I do more, I will freeze some of it. Also, wanted to show you guys a couple things. You don't always feel like cooking. You don't always have a meal ready. When you don't, things like tuna in a package, and then Chris Gethin, his body by design. These are easy. You just add water to this, 34 grams of protein here. For this whole packet, it's like 43 grams of protein. Super easy if you're traveling on the road. Even if you're at home, you don't feel like cooking. Um, that's a good thing. This is another staple. I like sweet potatoes, but I don't feel like eating them all the time. And trust me, don't overthink things. You know, so many people, so many times we hear you have to eat sweet potatoes. If you want a baked potato every now and then, that's fine. If you want red potatoes, that's fine. If you want squash, if you want, you know, spaghetti squash is something I, I use a lot of. Try to get as much variation in, in, in it as you can. I also will use corn tortillas. Um, but what I like to do is kind of have the staples in the diet. And if I feel like changing something up, if I feel like really getting after it and, and, and having a, a fun meal, I'll do that. You know, I don't eat the corn tortillas every day, but the other day I was like, you know, I feel like fajitas. So I grilled up a bunch of, bunch of peppers, onions, and I had fajitas, and I still was able to track all my macros. But brown rice, I like to just cook up a bunch and have it. Everything I weigh out is post-cooked. So for the rice, usually it's just whatever you do in rice, you double. Um, so like a cup of rice, you would do one cup of rice is gonna be one and a half cups of water, so it's, it's not quite doubled. Um, but look for a rice that, you know, sometimes you can get away with doing the the 90 second rice, that's fine. I like to feel like this stuff's probably a little bit healthier. But rice again, rice, sweet potatoes, I like to have, these are my car complex carbohydrates. The oats, the sweet potatoes, the red potatoes, um, the, the quinoa, all these things are, are starchy carbohydrates that you still need. I mean, I know a lot of people are paleo out there, I think paleo is great. But I need a little bit more carbohydrates, those, to fuel my to fuel my workouts. I'm 215 pounds pretty much right now. I need a little bit more than just veggies and sweet potatoes at every meal. I know what you're saying. Just just increase your fat, Steve, um, or take more protein. There's only so much I can increase. I need my carbs. Um, this is just about ready. My my hot pan there. You can tell I was cooking even before you guys got here, because I had a dishwasher full. I'm kind of OCD about germs and everything like that. So after I'm all done, you'll see me using my Clorox wipes to wipe everything down. And don't knock elk until you try it. I like bison a little bit better, but I, I wanted to switch it up and go with a little bit of uh, elk just to see how I, I like it. Just medium heat. You'll notice over here that I, uh, I do have my candle lit. It's not to set the mood, it's because it's cinnamon roll pecan swirl and I just can't stand when my house smells like nasty cooking. Usually, you know, in the summertime when it's nice out, I'll, I'll get on the grill and I'll just do this all outside, but right now it's a little cold outside, so you gotta light up that candle, turn on the fan if you need to. But, Mrs. Dash, if you are worried about getting a ton of salt in your diet, little Mrs. Dash goes a long ways. There's all sorts of uh, things out there that, that you can substitute things for that have flavor, that might not have, you know, Bragg's, Bragg's liquid aminos. I like using that instead of soy sauce. It still has sodium in it, but not quite as much. But I'll add, I will add a little bit of salt just because I like it, but I don't want to load it up. Um, at the same time, I usually have a bunch of sweet potatoes that I just throw, actually I actually have a bag open that I already used. But at the same time, you know, how easy is this to get a meal going? You know, I very rarely cook my sweet potatoes in the oven. I, I do like them better that way, but it's just not, it's not time effective always. So, in the microwave, boom, six minutes. And usually, like I said, I'll, I'll throw a couple of potatoes in there, I'll chop a bunch up, everything's weighed post-cook. 
Um, the chicken's in there. We're gonna flip it here in a couple minutes, but um, usually about 20 minutes is what I leave it in. Chicken turns that opaque color. You need to cook chicken to 170 degrees. Just make sure it's not pink all the way through. I'm sure I've eaten some undercooked chicken in my life. Don't think I've ever gotten sick. Don't really quote me on that. I'll knock on wood to make sure I don't. Um, but a couple of condiments that I do like to use, like we talked about, you know, it's, it's the condiments I think that are are overdone in America. But a couple things I do like that might not, you know, it might have some chemicals in them. Walden Farms is one of those zero calorie, I don't know, flavor replacements. They have syrup, they have chocolate sauce. I try to use that minimally because there's stuff in there like sucralose or just other chemicals. I know they say they're all natural, um, but it just you can taste it. So I, I like to use those minimally. But if it's gonna, it's gonna help me from going out there and eating a bunch of ice cream to add a little chocolate dipping sauce to my apples at night, it's not a big deal. But um, I eat a lot of salad with my veggies. Salad spritzers, just real easy. And then this stuff, I love, I love my hot sauce. Put it on everything, eggs in the morning. Um, so I, I get a lot of questions about people asking me, how many protein shakes do you recommend a day? I get anywhere between two and three shakes a day. I just I know that liquid in is going to be liquid out, so you don't want to have the whole diet. But don't overthink the food. Um, you know you can get creative with it. Like I said, if you're getting really tired of eating the same things over and over again, switch it up. Make a fun meal. Make it taste good for you. The way I do that's with a lot of the spices. And then when I need to, I'll have a day where I come home and I really prepare a dinner, like maybe a, a family would. But cooking for one isn't always easy. You got to uh, clean up, prepare the food. And that's why I do, I'll, I'll freeze, I'll freeze food. Um, I use that for my chicken, so I'm not gonna use that for my, these guys look like they're about ready to be flipped. So I mean you are, it's, and those burgers are tasty. And if you don't have a dairy, uh, you know, a dairy allergy, you can get like a little bit of lifetime cheese that has zero fat, or there's a lot of low fat cheese up there. And Ezekiel bread, if I'm feeling like I really need a burger, I'll go out and get Ezekiel buns, and I'll, I'll make a hamburger out of it, or I'll just eat these plain with my sweet potato. But you know, start looking at nutrition facts on things. We talked about how fats, nine grams or nine calories per gram, proteins, four calories per gram, carbohydrates are, are four calories per gram. And everyone's a little bit different. You know, I, I feel like if I don't get enough carbohydrates, I look really flat. So that, that glycogen in your cells, um, you know, it gives you that nice full round look, but it's inevitable while you're dieting, you're gonna look flat. Um, but some people do really well on a keto diet. I've never done that. It's just, I, I, I know it's not for me. I don't wanna be, be getting rid of muscle. You know, one thing I, I talk about is preserving as much muscle as possible while dieting. I just love my, my Worcestershire, I can't say this, Worcestershire. It's amazing. But mustard, I put mustard on just about everything. Um, but mustard, zero calories. I think mustard, though, gives people the fart sometimes. I'm sorry, but I think it does. But just a little bit of in there. Also, the pan's really dry, so that, that liquid helps kind of create a little bit of a of a buffer for those burgers. Um, and then again, I'll steam the rest of these up tonight, put them in a big Tupperware. Tupperware is going to be your best friend. After I'm done, I'll put all my meals in Tupperware. Uh, I'll weigh out the post, the post-cooked meat, um, the rice post-cooked, sweet potatoes post-cooked. You just need a system to do it. Don't overthink things. Have fun with it. The more you overthink things, I swear, for the first two years, like, if I was off an almond, like, it messed with my head, and you become OCD, and it just, it becomes unfun, and it happened to me. So make sure, you know, you don't stress out over things. Just, you know, eat as healthy as you can, make the best decisions you can, enjoy that gym, and, uh, you know, you're gonna be all right. But we're gonna be doing more uh, recipes coming up. We're gonna have those times that I really feel like I'm, I'm getting sick of the everyday elk, chicken, eggs. You know, I, I like to spread out my animal protein um, through various different sources. And I don't like to get a ton of animal protein. Meatless Mondays is something I do in the off season where I don't eat meat on Mondays, just to try to switch it up and get enough protein that way. A lot of controversy out there about soy. I'm not a big, big soy fan. But 
for a guy like me, I'm not really looking to put on too much more size. My protein is, is just enough to, to maintain that muscle, especially while dieting, that goes, that my protein goes up. But anyhow, that's kind of my kitchen, it's easy. Um, I, I do use the microwave a lot, I know some people don't like that. You can cook things in the oven. But for me, it's just about convenience. I don't want to spend a ton of time in here. My breakfast is easy, I'll pack up. I'll pack up my other meals in my six pack fitness bags. I'll usually have about two meals in here, my pre-workout, post-workout meals. Post-workout I do get a shake and usually a banana or glycomase. But you know, for me, I enter all my calories, like I said, in tap and track in my phone. And everyone's a little bit different, so you're gonna have to get in here, ex experience it. But after a while, what you, no you notice is things like almond butter. This is one of those things I, I love. Um, for my fats, almonds and almond butter, they start tasting so good. You actually start tasting the food. You start liking vegetables and things like Mrs. Dash, they go a long way. If you cut out those processed foods, those fast foods that you know are so tasty but loaded with sodium, loaded with preservatives, and you get back to natural whole foods, it's gonna be hard for a while. But do it over and over again. Um, you know, bodybuilders aren't the pickiest of eaters. I've eaten cold tilapia in the name of bodybuilding. It doesn't have to be that drastic. But you can make it fun. Just eat, eat healthy. You know, do it not because you necessarily want to look good, but the veggies and other things like that because you're going to be healthier. And I'll, I'll tell you what, right now, one thing I notice when I go on my strict diet, I'm drinking two gallons of water. I'm getting my fats from things like avocado, almonds, um, olive oil, from a little bit of animal fat. But that's that's basically the biggest. That chicken so lean that I have cooking, maybe two or three grams of fat. This right here pretty lean for red meat. So I'm not getting a ton of animal fat and I think that that's where a lot of people, heart disease and things like that come in. But, and my total fat's only about 60 grams. You know, I, I do keep that pretty low. The eggs, you know, it's, it's another source. But at night before I go to bed, I'll either get a case and shake or if I had a shake in the morning, I'll get eggs at night. Um, and that's another thing, you know, I don't like to go to bed super full either. I like to eat and then kind of give my body a little bit of time. If I need to go on another walk at night, I will. But it's all about finding what works best for you. For the longest time I was told I have to eat as soon as I wake up. But just for me, it wasn't optimal. So I don't eat about the, the last two hours before I go to bed just because I don't like going to bed super full. But at dinner time, you best believe I'm loading up on those veggies. That's my biggest meal of veggies because it keeps you full, all that fiber. I don't like eating a ton of veggies pre-workout because you get that kind of that, that bloated feeling, especially if it's broccoli. Um, but anyhow, that's kind of what I do. I got my supplements right here. We're all ready to go. Um, I will be using these labels, slapping them on there, taping them on top. What time of the day I'm gonna be taking them, um, how much, what they are, and kind of just keep track of everything in my, in my black journal book. Um, it's time consuming, it's not easy, but if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Anyhow, I'm gonna finish up cooking here. Usually it takes me about an hour to, to do all the cooking I need to between the rice, the veggies, the, the protein, the sweet potatoes. But then it's done for four days. So, really can't, can't complain. And like I always say, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. Steve Cook, Soldier Nation, Cooking Edition, Cooking with Cook. Love you guys, I'm out.